No, 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 not today. 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 Welcome to McDonald's, and it's time for the grind. <laughs> Good morning, Lincoln County High School. I'm Haley. And I'm Katie. And it's Tuesday, March 26th, and it's time for your morning announcements. Seniors are reminded to turn in your deposit and permission slip for the senior trip day. They are due by Thursday, March 28th to Mr. Ice or Ms. Hatfield. We are still collecting bottle caps for kidney dialysis. Each cap provides a minute of life-saving treatment. Ms. Carrie Smith is offering 20 pesos for 20 caps. Please bring them in as soon as possible. Wednesday will be the last day to turn them in. This last weekend, several LCHS students participated in Skills USA, and here is Lindsay with more. Hello, I'm Lindsay Terlikowski, and I'm here with Mr. Christian, and he has a message for all of those who competed in Skills USA this past weekend. Um, I would just like to uh, recognize and congratulate those students in our CTE program that participated this weekend at Skills USA in Putnam County. We had uh, several winners, and they'll be moving on to participate in Kansas City at the national competition. And if you see these folks uh, and your peers, just give them congratulations. They did a really great job representing Lincoln County High School. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, along with those who competed, I also competed myself in extemporaneous speaking, and I got the silver medal. Uh, somebody else who competed was Alyssa Hager. Uh, why don't you tell them about what you did? Um, I did prepared speech, which is basically a speech that you write yourself. It has to be around seven minutes, and it's about Skills USA as a whole. And um, basically, you just talk about like what Skills USA offers and the different benefits of Skills USA, and about their logo, which was champions at work prepared with the skills that America needs. And how did you place at this competition? I got gold, and I will be continuing to nationals in Kansas City in June. That is awesome. Uh, some of the instructors were absolutely essential in preparing them for their Skills USA competition. One of these instructors is Joanna Elkins, and I think she's right here. Oh, hi, Joanna. Hello, Lindsay. How are you? I'm fantastic. Hello. Thank you for asking. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your participation in skills, what you do to help? Well, not only do I try to get the kids prepared, uh, we do a lot of all the paperwork. There's a lot involved with, uh, you know, sending in dues, registering for the competitions, uh, making sure that we have money to feed everybody, making sure everyone's clothed, making sure that... Um, we follow the rules, the regulations, and things such as that. Uh, we had a really good, uneventful weekend. Uh, everything went well, I thought. Uh, we, uh, the so Several of the silvers we thought could have been golds, but you just sometimes never know what the judges are looking for and uh, how things play out. But uh, uh, all in all, I was very, very pleased. This We had 36 participants this year, and that is the most that we have ever had participating in Skills USA state competition this year. Wow. And uh, do you have a message for those of your students or those that you know that placed? Well, I have a message for every student. You know, they, the old saying is just participating, you are a winner, and you are a winner just to have been there. You had stepped up to the plate, you went on and you know, participated. Every, I think everybody had a good time. Uh, I do want to congratulate the winners. There was a lot of hard work. And I do want to wish Alyssa uh, luck. We are headed to Kansas City. So, Well, you heard it from her and all the rest of those who competed in skills. Back to you. Any 10th or 11th graders interested in possibly taking either dual credit or fast track classes need to take the AccuPlacer test. It is given April 10th for 10th graders and April 11th for 11th graders. The test is free, but you must sign up in advance with Mrs. Sanders in the counselor's office. We are going to have a drawing for an iPad for our seniors. To be eligible, they must bring us a copy of their email that confirms that they have completed and submitted the FAFSA. Please bring these to either Ms. Mullins or Ms. Sanders. The deadline to submit to us their confirmation is April 15th. Drawing will take place on April 16th. The LCHS JROTC First Annual Camo and Chrome Car and Motorcycle Show will be March 30th. There will also be a flea market in the gym with concessions and door prizes. Entry fees for all vehicles is $10 and $15 on the day of the event. For questions, please contact Wendy 
fever at 304-767-9625. The FFA will be hosting a concert with musical guest James Maynard on March 27th. Tickets are $5 and on sale during both lunches are in Miss Butler's room 1024 in the CTE wing. That's it for the news today. Thanks, and we will see you back here at the same time tomorrow. And the jam in it. Somebody needs to do the jam in it before we go crazy. See Mr. McCormick to do the jam in it. Yep. No, 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 not today. All right, Panthers, don't forget to follow us up on our YouTube page or tweet us at LCHS Proud. And remember, don't use your cell phones during the school day. Thank you.